So this is the shield for the Arduino Mega Foreman boards. This one is version 1 or revision 1, which is powered by this transceiver in showing the screen. And this is the Arduino Giga R1 Wi-Fi, which is CAN compatible. So to connect to the CAN network, we need to attach both boards this way. And now the Arduino Giga is ready to join the CAN network. This is supporting the matching control. That will be your main node. We are using the ground pin to close the circuit for the digital signal inputs. We are using an inductive sensor that will be connected directly to the portenta machine this way. Also, we are using a lamp and a relay. To, to show the status of the inductive sensor. We're using a relay because the lamp use, uh, requires 12 volts and Arduino Giga operating voltage is 3.3 volts. So now, again with the Giga R1 Wi-Fi along with the CAN shield, we are, we're gonna connect the, the relay of the lamp to the Giga. But before that, we are connecting the power lines to the Giga. All the black and red wires shown in the mid image are the power lines. And the green and yellow wires are the campus network lines. So here we are connecting to the campus. We're using a second Giga board with an environmental sensor also connected to the campus network. And this is the UNO for my shield. We're using the same transceiver. We're using two R4 Arduino boards, the minimum and the Wi-Fi. Both are compatible with our shield. And this is a small demo using a DC motor and L298D controller and a barrier sensor. The purpose of this is to control the motor speed using the barrier sensor as a tachometer. The R4 minima will be the tachometer and the Wi-Fi will control the DC motor controller, the L298D. So now we are connecting to the campus and connecting the power lines. And now we are ready to go. So here's an overview of the final circuit. And now um, uh, the main device will be monitoring the data in the bus reading environmental data and speed from the tachometer, notifying when the main device writes data to the bus, and also testing the inductive sensor, turning on and off the lamp, as you can see. And now this is a close-up view of the motor. As you can hear, it's changing the, the speed. And what? Well, that's it.